message for the board. Um, uh, I should probably apologise because I don't actually get on. To, I, I mean, I, I don't actually go on the message board at all. I'm hopeless with technology, so um, I'm not that bad. But um, uh, I get. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm, I'm Philip on the board. I am in blue uh, with, uh, under my own name, Phil. I've got a few lurking names as well, but it goes to myself. Thank you for just you know, making the board what it is. It's, uh, it is an amazing community and I feel very privileged to actually be part of that, so thank you so much. I'm a board member and my name is Colin, except for no substitutes. They're all liars, they're the ones, so I'll try and get on a bit more compared to Johnny, Luke, my younger brother who's been keeping up the good work. So what is the most important for the board is? Uh, broadband. I think the important thing. Uh, it's really annoying for, for us. I can't get any fast access, so it's a real nightmare. So my message would be to sort of send lots of letters into Tony Blair to get, get fast internet access in the UK, because it's terrible. <laughs> What is your ideal fan? Someone who understands the difference between me or us and the music. Uh, the, way, the best way to describe it is um, after I get a computer, I'd be walking through streets in Oxford and stuff, and people come up to me. They, they had something to say, but they couldn't quite work out what it was. Um, um, and I'd say, well, I'm sorry, I, I'm in, you know, and I'd try and get myself away, and, and they'd get really, really upset. And that used to really disturb me, and that used to freak me out. So I, I, eventually, I just just stopped. Tried to avoid people as much as possible. Now, since OK Computer, that stopped happening. I don't get weirded out, generally speaking. Um, and I think really that's because people realise that, that that whatever the they project onto what we do is not something that I, I'm actually responsible for. And I think OK Computer was particularly bad because of the effect it had. So I'd say that my ideal fan is someone who understands a temperamental little bastard. Do <laughs> you think your fans are crazy to, uh, to follow the Hawk tour? No, I don't think it's crazy. I'd do it. If I, had, if, if I had the time and the money, I'd do it. I would have done it with R.E.M. What do you think about the, the apparition of new fans in, your, in the following day, are you? And We don't expect... Um, People like you know, in the age of 12 to 16 to want to come to our gigs at all, really, because you know they're getting whatever's been thrown at them that month. They're getting that, and we were in that position once and had the same thing. So I don't. Um, I'm kind of into this sort of, which is annoying old gets now. But do you understand the git? Mm. Yeah, annoying old gets. But. Um, so it always surprises me, you know, when we get letters from sort of people that age and whatever comes to shows. It does surprise me. What is your favourite audience? I don't have one. I, I don't have a favourite audience because um, it's really great to do like gigs where people just are, are totally happy and going for it as well. But some of my favourite gigs are the ones where everybody. Um, want, some of my favourite gigs are the gigs we, we did when we first started, when we were a support band. Um, and you've got, you know, you're absolutely up against it and everybody doesn't want to know, not interested. I, I really like those gigs too. Uh, I, I'm, there's something about really having to grab people by the neck and <laughs> I, that I really, really appeals to me, that I really, really miss. Each particular area you go to, people behave in different ways, but that doesn't... Um, it sort of phases you out for the first sort of, like, Ten minutes, and they think, okay, right, that's yeah. what that is, and that's fine. You know, I, I don't, um, uh, I don't sort of, I try not to make the mistake of, of being pissed off that they're not jumping around or whatever. I mean, I actually prefer it maybe when they're not. You know, it's it's funny occasionally. It's good, you know, but really, um, every a group of people, they all have different energies, and um, yeah. you just sort of just got to be be cool with it and just go, okay, that's, this is what's happening tonight, and that's that, you know. I mean, Chris, we used to do, Johnny and I used to, used to do, do, I remember, for some reason I was thinking about some um, performance at a FNAC yes. um, in Paris, in Paris yeah. Yeah, yeah, where um, 
it was just most, you know, um, floors up and people like this and, uh, you know, three songs in or something, I break a string and we're standing there and all these people just going. <laughs> but I actually really enjoyed the gig because it was just really unusual yeah. and you really have to put something across and it's a challenge. Do you have any message for the bodies? I'm just sort of really grateful. I think, you know, what happened with when, you know, when we were doing Kidai and the music and stuff is that it was a real lifeline. All the people used to come on all the time. Yeah. It was really cool. It sort of, you know, because we'd gone through some really heavy shit with OK Computer and stuff and it was really nice to have basically what was relatively speaking a normal group of people that we were talking to. Yeah. Um, and it was... And, and this sort of, that sense of community thing is actually pretty cool. What do you think about the boat? Uh, what is the, the best quality it has? The best quality for it, it has for us is when, when we're recording, you know, when we were doing Kid A, when we were stuck in yeah. studio for a fucking long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was really good, then. Mm. It was the best because... And when, when we did the webcast and stuff, yeah. so yeah. exciting. Um, and like nobody else, it felt like nobody else was really doing it, you know. It was one of the most exciting times we've ever had, really, to be honest, because we just built the studio. With the Christmas tree? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right, yeah. You didn't realize that, didn't you? Yeah, it? I saw it. We were so, 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 so drunk. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have some folks like when we go on and it's the flood thing. Yeah, a lot of body couples and. Bodies for in love with each other and stuff. Oh, really? Uh, and there is, there is, there is even a baby now. What? Yeah, a baby. Scary yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe because of you? Yeah. Or well, maybe we can have a particular area where people yeah. go and just. Uh, <laughs> that would be a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs>